introduce Fred. your friend here. My, fr my friend. Your best friend. We only your best friend. <laughs> Fred Wool is with us. Fred is um, always a um, wealth of information. I, always, I, love, that I be, love the segments with Fred. He's, I do he too. Is, he's he's very he, He's very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. He's very entertaining. And we're just kind of shooting a lot of things at him today. Well, you yeah. know, it, it's really tough yeah. to be an old, bald-headed cowboy that stutters. You know, and that's me. That sums me up right. That's and, why we but, love you. But, you know, it, 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 it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you, you've added uh, justice of the peace to yeah. your repertoire of, of things that you've, I've you've been done in your life. Justice and, of the peace going on for four years yeah. now. And it's How's that been, going for it's, you? It's, it's, it's really good. We have one of the best quorum courts in the state, and we are recognized for that. Uh, we don't always agree, but we never get mad at each other. Yeah, you know? agree so, to disagree. I well, guess and, that. and that's just it, but we work together for the, for the benefit of everybody in Boone County. We don't have anybody that has a special interest, and mm -hmm. that's really, really good. And we have a really good county judge that allows us to help him, and, uh, and, like that. and it's really, really good. I've been, it, it's been an honor serve. Well, we've tried to get him on, and uh, maybe we will one of these days. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. If you want to do that, I'll come on with him. Okay. And, and that, that would, right. he would pr probably do it then. Okay. Okay. So, right. and, Sounds and, good. And, maybe we can get him on the next few weeks. He's a good weeks. guy. But now, I, I really, I mean, one thing he's done to me is he appointed me to take his place on the Ozark Mountain <coughs> Solid Waste District. Okay. With all this stuff that's There's been, going been a on lot that. of goings on there. So what can you enlighten us about Well, the that? good thing is, see, I became the new chairman in February, and mm -hmm. we have kind of reorganized everything where the board is more active now, and we've finally worked with a lot of different, but the $18 is gone. You won't have to pay $18 again. So that's gone, and that would okay. have been a, a big thing. That was a big challenge And we for got you, sure. the, the board is active now. The board is more, it used to be, and I hate to say it like this, but it was us four and no more kind of deal. Uh -huh. And they never share, but now we share everything. The board is active. The board takes a part. We've got uh, uh, committees set up that handle certain things like budget and personnel and waste tires and things of this. And so everybody has a part, everybody works hard, and everybody's getting along, and that's really good. And it's going, good. going, to, be some, yeah. going to be some change. Things get done. Yeah. Otherwise, you just sit there and bicker all the time. Well, well and you might give some insight as to what the solid waste does. Well, it, it, when it first started out, it was in the early 90s when the state legislature set these up. And we used to have a dump. We really had a dump that right. was run and it was really run really good and then things changed and where they approved the dump before now we couldn't have a dump because it had karst which is a uh, type of landscape that l that water and stuff can go through into groundwater and all this and it was a, okay. a, a pollution thing okay. and so they had to close the landfill and when that deal closed then the bonds that the solid waste district did became unpayable and that's where a lot of this stuff come mm -hmm. up that's right. where they put the eighteen dollars and all they this kind of stuff but they were revenue bonds and we all know revenue bonds aren't guaranteed by anybody until they're based on the revenue that was coming in and the solid waste district was making money mm -hmm. and things changed and uh, the folks that were on the board were all uh, elected officials but when they run for an office you don't well I'm gonna run so I can be on the solid waste board no they were that was an extra duty to them yeah. and so they yeah. never really got interested as much because the people that were doing it did not include them they just wanted to run it the way I kind of, and I shouldn't say this, but I will. It's kind of like they were operating a dairy. The more they could milk, the better off they were. And if nobody else yeah. got any of that milk, they were yeah. correct. Well, over a period of time, that kind of got really bad. And then the, the bondholders wanted their money. And so, yeah. Right. Yeah. but yeah. make a long story short, we're headed the right direction okay. now. That's good deal. Good. Doing good. Yeah. Doing good. Yeah. So that was really good. Yeah. Okay. So, All right. So. Yeah, I, yeah. Those things they they're around for so long that it becomes a monster of its own. Well, it takes. And then on you have a to step away own. from it, and then time kind of heals itself, and then well, and, and, and people it, look at it from a different perspective, and then they say, "Let's fix it." Right. Well, we have a really active board now. They want to be part of it because it. I mean, yeah. 
when the people that elected you into office say this $18 that you're collecting, you need to get that stopped. I mean, it puts mm, pressure yeah, on yeah, them. Yeah, and so, yeah. honestly, there's nobody on the board that has a vested interest except what is best for the people in this yeah. five-county area. Right. Yeah. And so it, it's really good, and it's an honor for me to serve as chairman of that good. because everybody works together. I need to tell you a quick little story, though, that happened to me the other day. Okay. I, I went to this church, and uh, uh, I was just visiting, and they had a big wall that had a... a veterans that had passed on mm -hmm. and they had all mm -hmm. like this and the preacher was there looking and this little old boy was there and he was looking at it too you know and the little boy I heard him say to the preacher well what are those and the preacher said well son that's an honor of everybody who has died in the the service and I, he said that we did this to make sure that they're never forgotten the little boy looked and said is that the 9 30 or 10 30 service preacher <laughs> 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 oh, <bam. laughs> <Bam. laughs> so oh, anyway, that's funny. It, it, that so is funny. You can just that in service. Yeah. Yeah. Thank so, you. Want to talk about the horses a minute? Yeah, yeah let's talk okay. about the horses. All right. Well, since the last time I was here, the horse population has almost reached a hundred thousand horses. Wow. And everything that we have done in the past six years to try to help that is just kind of like paddling a boat in a great big circle. So we have a lot, about, but now the Congress has given us a little more money this year to set up and, and try to do things a little bit better. So what we're doing with a lot of this money is we're setting up long-term pastures again. So when we do gather these horses, the ones that can't find home, we can put them on these pastures to where they will continue to live out their lives in a lot better way of, right. of, 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 of doing it. So was, was, a, was the problem not enough land for well, the horses? Because right. where the horses are, there's... You got to have a lot of acreage. Well, right? and, and, and here, and like I've said before, here where where we live, you can run a horse year round on about five acres. Feed them a little bit right. of feed. Wow. Some places out west, it takes 500 acres. Yeah, for one horse. For one horse. And when Congress set everything up in 1971, they set aside a number of acres for the wild horses. But the the government has more land, but only certain part is set up for the horses. And that's what right. people don't understand that put this on Facebook and say, send me money and all this. But the land that those horses are authorized to run on needs to be managed. I mean, if I put, like I've said many times, if I put a horse in your front yard, how long are you going to be able to keep it there? Right. You can't give it any feed. You can't give it any water. Well, that's what's going on right mm -hmm. there. And yes, there are more government land, but that other government land is not set aside for the for horses. The horses. Gotcha. So we have to manage what we've got. And one way of doing that is to limit the amount of horses that are on there, restrict the population, manage the population. It's just like anybody that has a cow herd. Yeah. You can't just let the cows have calves and then let them have calves. I mean, right. you have to manage. And that's what we have been trying to do. And it used to be where a lot of people wanted these wild horses and we could find homes for them. But as the numbers increased, the amount of homes that wanted them did not increase because they're just not that yeah. much room. So we, yeah. it's one of those things that we got to manage. And we've talked a lot about birth con. con birth control and stuff of that and there's a lot of stuff that you can 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 do but you have these certain people that my way or the highway approach mm -hmm. well and if you just limit it to one thing you can see how much problems that could because everything is different there's 10 states where these horses are in mm -hmm. each state is different each state has a different number of horses right. the terrain the landscape the environment is different so you can't say one size fits all so you need all these different tools in your toolbox and the <coughs> certain groups don't think that's right they just want one tool one tool only because that's and so you you have to manage them and that's been a frustrating thing for me over six years to just not uh, um, go on but and you were saying this is your last year for this that. is my last year my patience has got as <laughs> about as long as my hair it's just <laughs> just about gone and so yeah. it's uh, uh, and 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 they might need some new blood I mean it's but uh, um, I've been the chair for the f five of the six years and it's been an interesting thing and I've made a lot of friends I made a lot of uh, uh, we made some progress. One of the big progress that we made was that, uh, uh, you know, it costs when we put these horses in long-term pastures. Over the life, that horse is going to cost us roughly $50,000. Mm -hmm. 
So what we did a couple of years ago and tried to get this done, and they finally implemented it where if you adopt a horse, we'll pay you $1,000. So that first year, you get $1,000. Well, that helps you take care of that horse that right. first year, helps you train that horse that first year, help that horse adapt. So instead of that coming out of your pocket, the government's going to pay you to do that, and it's going to save them forty-nine thousand dollars. So right. it's it's a real yeah. benefit, and it helps, and it has. It's increased the number of horses adopted by three times. Which obviously is still a program that continues, and it, and that's going on going. But again, these groups have taken exception with that. That that well, they're going to sell them horses to slaughter. Well, you know, I. <laughs> Those are the people that have horses. A thousand dollars won't even break even on the care of that horse with the food and the shoeing and the vet bills right. and all that. I mean, I took my horse to the 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 uh, vet yesterday, and it cost me over three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So see, if you have, I mean, so you know, it's but yeah. that's but that's the problem or that's the benefit of having a horse is you take care of that horse right. and all this. But it does help. It does help, and it really and it's really helped finding homes for these horses. Uh, is there going to be some exceptions? Is people going to try to take advantage of that? Well, well, yes, they are, but they do everything, mm -hmm. and so we can't judge ninety nine people by one person. Right. Yeah. And so it, it it helps, and that's why we have the crew that we have to monitor these horses. That's why we have people go out and look and manage and, and to make sure that that one person that does something wrong is caught and that horse right. is taken care of and all that. So it's really been good. We've we've adopted a whole lot more horses like this, and mm -hmm. I, I feel really good about that. And that's a good thing for me to go home on is that positive aspect right. of that. Yeah. In in the job that you do, you have to you have to hold on to the positive because there's a lot of negative out there to 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 dissuade you from from going forward. Well, and 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 you just you know I'm I'm kind of I just rolls off my back anyway. But yeah. you know it's uh, I've never seen our country as split as it is. It's either yeah. here or here. There's yeah. nobody in between. Mm -hmm. You know, and and what we need to be able to do is meet in the midst. The right. middle, I give a bit, you give a bit, and we yeah. can move on right. down the road. And that's the way it used to be. Right. But now it's just my way or the highway, yeah. and there oh, isn't yeah. any. Yeah. And it's, a lot of shaming going on, too. Yeah. yeah. It's frustration. Oh, boy. You want me to share we'll one get, quick poem with you yes. before yes. we close? Yes. Uh -huh. okay. There's nothing like a Mustang between your knees, one that's light to the rain and willing to please. Together is one till the day is done. On a Mustang, you'll find your way home. The world is brighter when you're up on this throne that's strapped to the top side of muscle and bone. Beneath you, a friend on whom you depend. On a Mustang, you'll find your way home. My, when my trails have ended on this earthly plane and the angels above, they call out my name, please carry me home on a good, honest gray. On a Mustang, I'll find my way home. Sweet. <laughs> that's Thank great. you all much. That's great. Well, Fred, we'll have you back sometime. I always do. I appreciate it. And it's always that. open anytime you want well, to come by. Anytime you need me to come and fill a hole or something, just give me a you call. You might have All one right. more time now that you're going to like serve this last year. Well, you know, I, I'm doing that, and uh, uh, there's a lot of stuff that I've uh, taken on, but I am cutting back as I've gotten older. Uh, there's a whole lot more things I need to do. I've got grandkids now, and i got mm -hmm. to play with my horses more, and it's just a uh, uh, old age has a way where I used to work 10 or 12 hours a day. I can only work about five or six now. Old age mm. will slow right. you down. Yeah. And I know I don't look it, but I'm getting old. Oh, no, boy. You, no. Well, I was going to tell you how old you did, did look when you walked well, in, but I was trying to be nice. 67. 67. And so it's, uh, or I'm going to be 67. So it's, uh, uh, it's hard to well, wake don't up. give up. Just oh, uh, I don't give yeah. up. Just, I ain't uh, giving up. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on doing what I'm doing, just but keep I am going. slowing down on outside things. Gotcha. Just, just go slow and steady. Slow and steady. Slow yeah. and steady. Yeah. I hear you, Fred. Thanks a lot. All right, thank you for having buddy. me. I appreciate y'all. Up next, we've got Wanda Massengale, and what's the dog's name? Burnett. 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 She's a pretty. Little Wanda puppy. and Burnett. Up next, stay with us. <laughs>